All right, how's everybody doing? Welcome back to another video. As you can see, it's pretty hot outside, but uh, I'm currently having an issue with the uh, the GMC. Let me step down off of the stool real quick, where um, the front end is currently leaking. I'm what looked what I thought was transmission fluid. It's uh, it's coolant, but um, I've had a coolant leak for a long time, and I didn't know what it was. I couldn't find the leak or anything, but uh, I, f I think I found it. So let me switch this camera around, and I'll show you what's going on. All right, so let me get back on the stool. Oh, that's a light in my face. Um, first of all, we put some. Oh, you don't need that. We put some, uh, some like, like coolant stopper because we didn't know where the coolant leak was because we thought it was in the back of the engine where the freeze plugs are back here. And um, let me get the light. If you look here, all of that is soaked. Some of them lines are soaked, but uh, the majority of the leak is like on where the top of the shock tower is. They got like little bubbles here. This is the fender liner. The whole, whole back half of this fender liner is leaked. It has like leakage and like it's soaked with coolant. And you look here. Ooh, that's a bad leak. It's all, it's all full of coolant. But I started the truck and I actually found out exactly where it's coming from. So if you look, um, at that bottom transmission line, like where the light is right now, they have two little freeze plugs, all right? Um, ah, the freeze plugs. They got two little, like, fittings that hook onto the radiator right here. Because on a Sierra, they don't have, and GMs too, they don't have, a, a, like, a radiator cap. You fill it through that, that coolant reservoir. Well, if you look, God, this light's bad. If you look at that, like, line where you can see those two little metal pieces, um... Uh, I'm gonna put my finger there. There's one. Like if you look straight down from there, they got one. And if you uh look, um, like up right there, like where the light is, there's one. Well, if you look at that little metal hose at the bottom right there, there's a um, there's a there's like a, a metal line that runs. I'm guessing to either the other side of the engine or something. I, I didn't really diagnose it too well. Well, that fitting right there, that little metal piece, is uh, is leaking uh, coolant. And I can actually show you guys where the little metal fitting is. So if we go down here, and I do this, and go here, um, that little spot from that fitting is where my coolant is leaking from. And I don't know how to diagnose it yet. I'm going to bring it to a shop tomorrow and see if they can fix it. So you can see it's getting like overflowing. It's about to like take it. It's going to go from the bottom there. It's going to run across and it's going to drip here. So it makes it look way, way worse than it actually is. But um, hopefully, let me flip the camera again. Hope you guys fix your coolant leak and uh. Uh, that's one that's the major thing I'm thinks wrong with this truck because this truck has bad freeze plugs Turn the light off. Uh, it has bad freeze plugs in the back of the engine And I don't feel like taking the whole dash and all that stuff out to get to the back of it uh, Silly up here like way back in the engine, but um, with that being said I think I found the leak if we're lucky we can get it fixed really simple But uh, thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out